Hello everyone, welcome to the channel once again. I'm continuing with SharePoint online series and in this video we learn about apps, how we can configure the app catalog and how we can add app to the app catalog. So let's start. So from here I can go to manage features and in the manage features you will see apps. So you will click open. So it will open you the tenant admin apps. So here app catalog, if you have not created app catalog previously, you can click on that app catalog and then you if you have already app catalog you can enter the url of it and if you want to create new you can create a new app i don't have any app catalog so i'll create new app catalog site now app catalog site is a special type of site collection only so it will create a site collection with the app catalog so i'll click on this and i click ok and it will redirect me to a page where i can enter my uh, app catalog name and other things so this is the page here i can write test app catalog app catalog and then i can write it in the url as well so this would be my url this slash site slash app catalog english administrator uh, my test one would be administrator and the storage quota i can 20 gb i can give uh, it's not automatic so that's why it's asking me for manually entering so this i can click ok it could take some time to create the app catalog so once it creates uh, we can move forward okay so it has created the app catalog but it's redirecting me to this page. Uh, it's under construction. Uh, it might be possible that if you are uh, viewing this uh, video after some time, you will be redirected to the home page itself. So here, home. More features uh, here. Uh, you can see in the sites, there would be app catalog sites. There should be. So if you come directly from here, it might take some time to reflect here. Here you can see the test app catalog is now visible. So from here you can directly open it. After some time it will open, this side will open from here as well. But it takes some time. So here this is my app catalog. Now here distribute apps for SharePoint. If you want to upload any custom apps for the SharePoint that you have made build that is spfx uh, i'm planning to make videos on spfx as well in future so when we will make it we will upload it here and then distribute apps for office and manage a request if you have disabled uh, the automatic purchase or from the app catalog then uh, the request will come here and then you can approve or reject the request of the user to purchase an app from the app store so that this is how you can do it so here if you go uh, from here you can upload your uh, apps or the custom apps you can upload and then uh, you can here you see apps for office here you can do so and the app request if anybody request if you have disabled it and if anybody has requested for that app it will come here uh, for the approval or rejection so this is how we can do it now if you want to disable how you can configure the settings that user has to ask for approval before the purchase so once you have configured your app catalog you can go to configure store settings now it says the sorry you need to create an app catalog site before you can turn off app purchases your end user will be able to request now i have already created the app catalog but it's not reflecting here it should reflect after some time it might take some time 5 10 minutes to reflect here so i'll wait for some time before it reflects here i am not going to do any settings but uh, just for waiting for some time it should come because i have already created the app catalog so because it's reflected here test app cat it's there so i have already created the app catalog uh, if i click on there and it still not redirecting me to that page uh, but it 
could take some time uh, sorry you need to create an app catalog i have already created so it will take some time to reflect so i'll wait for some time till now this is my app catalog page app catalog site already created so let's wait how much time it asks now you see that is that it gets removed and now it's asking me should end users be able to get the apps from the market if yes then they can directly uh, go and purchase and if you ask no then they will uh, they will not be able to directly purchase and they will request for app and then uh, you will up, as admin you can approve or reject that request before they purchase it so you can click on ok so now app request whatever app request has come uh, you, know, you can you can go by two ways either from here on the app catalog side here the request will come or you can from you can move from here as well configure app settings now again you see it's coming because i have uh, some time so idly it should now i have uh, entered no so it could take some time to do it now you see it's come from here also click here to view app request from here also you can go and see the app request view yeah it's this and this are same so there are two ways to move to the uh, app request where you can approve and reject the apps so this is how you can approve and if you want to upload you can upload apps for sharepoint here spfx all the customs so that i'll uh, show in the next video not next but uh, once i complete the overview of the sharepoint online then i'll move to spfx and then uh, we'll see how we can create spfx web parts and other things the artifacts uh, that's all from the apps thank you so much for watching and please do like share and subscribe the channel thank you so much